Yeah, what's up? This kind of felt like a screaming, you know? Okay, I just got an idea for a name change if you would like to hear it. Scream a little more. Ah! Okay. So you were talking about earlier about how you were worried about people not recognizing you if you change your name. What if your name was Royal Sky Get iPad? That way you like you combine the two. You have them both. Thoughts? Or do you think that would be a bit too long of a name? Royal Sky Get iPad is a little long. Okay. You like the feeling. Okay, I'm glad. I, I'm glad it's a... At least a consideration, you know? Royal Sky iPad. That could work. That's not as long as Royal Sky Get iPad. Where was I going? Oh, yeah, I was gonna go to Bubble Gloop. I don't go. I did not press that. What? I did not press the B button there. <laughs> Ambiguously raunchy. A little bit, yeah. Do you think that's Gruntilda in that big Gruntilda statue? I learned this spell. It's really neat. Thank you, Gruntilda. Oh shit, I can wear boots. Can I do any? Let me try again. Oh, I can go over here. Oh wait, couldn't I go over here already? Oh no, I couldn't. Because otherwise I would have died. Oh, what? Ice land. Oh god, it's slippery. Are there any boots in here? Oh no. Oh, okay. There are. I want to go to Ice Land. I used so many of my jiggies. Look at that snowman. Ooh, where's that? Sorry, I had to move my mic. Oh. Oh. Uh. Okay, I think I need to be small to get in there. Oh, maybe I need to be a little crocodile banjo. That might be the answer. Stomp is this way. Oh, wait, Sky, what if you do Royal Skypad 
but instead of an I, it's a Y. What about that idea? Oh, yummy. Yeah, yeah, think on it for a bit. See what, see what you think. I don't know why I picked this up. And it's like, what is a Skypad? Oh, that's true, yeah. Let's go. Eat the bokum. How do I get up there? Oh, I jump. Ginger, what are you doing down there? Jiggy in Gruntilda World. <laughs> Goodbye, hat. Oh, you go that way. Do you think anyone has... Hold on. Eat Do you think anyone has an... An emote of the little mumbo tokens. That's definitely Jiggy right there. Yes! Oh, no, I'm gonna get eaten. Just kidding. That was a speedrun trick. That was called a ground pound cancel. Uh, I... Hold on. We can hear this guy's sound again. I just wanted to hear the sound. I was genuinely not paying any attention to where that that statue thing that I put eggs in went. I'm gonna have to look for it, oh no. Hello, Jinjo. Was it, uh, was it near where that other switch was? Like over there, I think? Oh, there it is. I don't remember where that was. 
It was where a Jinjo was in the water. Oh, I think I remember. Was it over here? Or is that a different one? No, that's a different one. Oh. Right, it was over here. No. Nice. So what could I be missing? I still need to get the the jiggy that's probably in here. I need to get the gingos. Oh wait, did I already get the one in here? Okay, yeah, I did. What? There's a honeycomb thing up there? Let's go. Okay, where have I not gone? I know there's a Jinjo over here, so I'll go ahead and grab that. No, I can't get him. I need to come back as a little crocodile. Whoa, whoa, what? I didn't mean to do that. Man. Okay. Um. Okay, I think I know where I want to go. This way, I think. And I think it was this way. And then I go this way. There's a Jinjo there. Oh. from the switch over there. I think I might have gotten it, but I'm not sure.
Oh, I didn't know you could cancel out of that. Oh, I didn't get it. Let's go. Okay, so now that that, that just leaves the Jinjos and the Red Crocodile minigame. I did get jiggy with it. I saw that back there. Am I 100% in this game or what? No, I'm more so just trying to get as many as I can to try and get through the game. Because like at the moment, I don't know how much I need to get through the game. So I wouldn't be surprised if I end up getting a lot of stuff. And also, I just kind of want to play through a lot of the game. Yeah, you got to do the Wordle. I forgot to do yesterday's Wordle, and I feel like such a fool. I don't want to know what it is, though. I just want to... I want to be in ignorant bliss from not doing it. I'm here to win. I will eat all of the red yumblies. I own this idiot. Oh, yes. It was quite easy. Nice. You've been doing the boat strat. Nice. I'm telling you, it, it uses the most the most like common vowels and consonants for so many words Yoink. dumbass I'll let you have that one. <laughs> this fucking idiot thinks he can challenge me. Not ready. Okay. 
Eat the ones that it's at the top of the screen. Red. I knew it. I knew it was going to change. God, where are they? God, this is hard. Dumbass. Come on. Yumblies versus Crumblies. Make your choice. Can't get me. You got me. No. Come here. Me too. I wish you could fight back against him. Oh, that growling sound is the crumblies. I thought that was the... I honestly thought that was the red gator. Because he's evil. No. What? I didn't want to do that. I was pushed into him. That is the ultra emote combo move. Get fucked, Mr. Vile. <laughs> I can't believe I'm swearing while playing Banjo-Kazooie. I don't care. No! Shut up, Mr. Vile. Alright, we don't have to deal with Mr. Vile anymore. Look at me. Look at me go. This is what a winner looks like. Mr. Vile does need to die. I agree. But we don't need to care about Mr. Vile anymore. I am jamming right now. Let's do something about him. Mr. Vile's going to be mysteriously gone tomorrow. <laughs> I love how you can just walk around in the waters as a little croc. This is, this is cool. This is what Banjo-Kazooie is about. Can I climb up things? I hope I can. No. Okay. I'm just glad I don't have to do that ridiculous minigame ever again. I never want to do that minigame ever. jump on this as a croc? Oh, I can't. Yo, Jinjo! Eek'em, bokem. 
do the Mr. Vile minigame again. And don't stop until you win all three. You see, channel points are supposed to be fun. That doesn't sound fun. That sounds like I would cry. And die. Jinjo is dying in the muck. I don't think Jinjos can die. I feel like Jinjos just kind of exist in a in their own realm. And kind of Don't do the Mr. Vile minigame. Alright. For <laughs> one thousand points. Alright, hold on. I gotta add this right now. Yo, what up? All good. We have a new channel point reward. There's the Jinjo. Oh, do I have to be Banjo to get it? Dang. Okay, I'll come back for that one. Eekum bokum. Where was that other Jinjo? I kind of forgot. Like, which ones am I missing? Green and yellow. That was the yellow one. Where is the green one? Is it over here? You don't see it? It should be there. Refresh. That might... That might make it show up. It should show up with like a, a little new thing or something. This last Jinjo. I completely forgot where this one was. The just don't. <laughs> yeah. I like it a lot. Oh, here it is. How far do I jump? I do jump kind of far. I feel like I might be able to make the jump. Why? Hey. Thank you, bottles. Can I just make this jump? Let's go. Jinjo! I don't even have to change out of crocodile form. Ultimate gameplay. Call one sec.
Yo, what up? Do colleges even have detention? I guess they do in this universe. No. I... <gasps> no. Bastard. Okay, that's fair. I wanted to remain a crocodile. College detention is a class you have to take, and it doesn't teach you anything. It is just... It just is a punishment for no reason every Tuesday from 3 to 4 that you pay $300 for. Damn. Oh, do I have enough notes? Yes! But how do I get this jiggy that's in here? New point reward for 10,000. Continue to play in the game you're playing. Well, we need to... We need someone to redeem the reward. I think... What is that reward? Is it like... Once per person or is it once per stream? I need to check. Oh, and it needs to increase because it does that. Well, I guess I accidentally made it. Oh, it's once per stream. Okay. Yeah, I accidentally made it 14,997 points instead of 15,000. Why is this area so laggy? What? This area is so... Why is this area so slow? What happened? <laughs> that guy on the sar sarcophagus owes me $500. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, dude, can I use fire to unlock this? What? Unlocked. <gasps> the warp pots have been linked. A shortcut. Here I go. Yo, what up? Concept of a video game character owing you a large amount of money is really, really funny. I think it's awesome. Imagine if that was something you could actually have happen. What's over here? Oh. Banjo owes me $5, but Kazooie owes me 30 grand. <laughs> what is this? Oh shit, freeze easy peak. Hmm. This looks like a puzzle. I go up there. Oops. Don't think you can use these until you found out how. I will be finding out how soon. What? Huh? Well, I'll find out what that is. What if your channel point reward decreased in price every time you reject one joke? The ikkobokum. Every time I reject one. 
Hmm. And decrease like one point. That'd be awesome. I should do that. I gotta go. Oh no, am I not gonna be able to make it? Bitch. Oh. What even is this for? Oh. Hold on, maybe I can do this. Actually, no, it's going to take me a bit to get up there. I'm just going to go into Freeze Easy Peak. What? Hello. Another new move? Oh, yeah. I'm going in there. What happened here? Oh no. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Ikabokum. I didn't mean to punch that kid. No. This had a side quest in this game. Well, it is a quest, I guess. Are side quests really like a thing in this game? I feel like I have found them. You got it, buddy. <laughs> Damn. Uh. I don't know how to help him. Fart noise. Oh! <laughs> this game only kills you. Is this really cold water? Oh god, it's really cold water. For the next 10 seconds of Bronto reading this message, I will type in chat every noise that Banjo or enemies around him makes. It's been 10 seconds. Thank you, Sky. <laughs> I think that's a, a very accurate transcript of a uh, of the game. Oh my god, there's a giant snowman there. I didn't even notice. Look at that moon. That should be a channel point reward. I agree. These snowmen are... I just killed an ice cube. These other snowmen are just trying to kill me. I am climbing the scarf. Oh, 
Okay. What? I can ski? Hold on, I need to explore this first. Is there anything at the top of the snowman? I would think so. Oh shit! Jiggy acquired. What? Oh, it's a present. Uh, I like I like that sound. That was nice. That was a nice little sound for the present talking. Smoking a jiggy. Yeah, I gotta I gotta give that present to someone sad. No, I was trying to help the ginger. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Banjo has broken his legs. Eek em, boke em. Eek em, boke em. I gotta get back to the top of the snowman. Can these snowmen stop trying to kill me? If you were one of these snow people, which one would you be and why? Please explain in a, a double-spaced three-page paper as to why you would be a snow person. Please provide evidence, but there is no need to provide a work site in. This assignment will be due tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. Happy winter break. Shit, look at these eyes. Oh god, do not kill me. Where am I? be the giant snowman because I'm large and in charge. The giant snowman is a lot like me because it doesn't move. It just sits and does nothing all day and sits around and watches giant snowman TV just like me. This snowman has giant green eyes just like me. This snowy man has a top hat and it a hard head. I would and it hard to get on top of just like me. There are enemies on the snowman's head. I would be a giant snowman from Bejo Kazooie on Freeze Easy Peak for Nintendo 64. A plus. Oh wait, college doesn't do pluses. A. That's so weird. Why don't colleges do A pluses? I don't get it. That's it. I'm going on the sled. Yo! Let's go. Eekum bokum. Oh, what? <laughs> I helped him. It, no, you have to... You have to get presents for your... Let's go, I got a Jiggy.
Do you think? Do you think Boggy is a uh, is Santa? The Twinkly Munchers? The hell yeah. No, it, that's not cool. God, why? I love the sound that these guys make. No. You bastard. What? That was frame one. No. Stop. It really is, though. On. <laughs> Eat them, them. I was not listening to what Twinkly said. He said, turn me on and don't get stuck under the button. Oh, no. Yeah, how do I actually do it, though? Oh, did I need to shoot it? Oh. say Yahoo. Yahoo! Let's go. Yippee! What? I need to find my reward? I think it's at the... What? Or is a present here? No! Damn. Do I still have the presents though? I hope I do. Sad dies with sad cross eyes and death. All right, see you in a bit, Sky. I need to grab them again. All right. All right, I think I'm actually going to take an actual little break. So I will be right back. I'm going to make this scroll a bit faster than it did before. Be back in a bit.
My return is here. Uh, where'd I want to go? I hope I don't have to do the twinklies again. No, it looks like they're still there. Okay. I need to be an ant. Oh, I think I do. This looks like ant mode. Or I can climb. Do I need to get there in the time limit? Oh, that might be what I need to do. Cause I don't I don't think I got there in the time limit. I'm surprised I made that. supposed to do that. Ginger. What do you have for me, bottles? Aerial action. The beak bomb attack. Stand now. Okay. I think what I need to do is I need to get to that flying platform that was over there. 
then fly into the star. I think that's the idea. Be a star, I'll find my reward. Oh no. What? Am I not doing it right? Oh. I did it. I'm gonna go, uh, refill my health. reward. to kill these snowmen or something what the a nasty fierce bear come here you have something I want oh do I need to be invisible or something that's the idea I'm getting I won I didn't even notice I was running low on lives. <sighs> he noticed me coming. Uh... Shit. Oh no. Too cold. Wait. Eat them both. Them. Oh my god, I got sniped. Destruction. I feel like there's something over there. Oh my god, do these enemies predict your movement? If so, that's insane. Jinjo. Hmm, 
Maybe I need to fly over to Mumbo. That might be the next thing to do. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't know why I need to be smaller, even though I used it earlier. But, okay. Hello, I have present. Oh yeah, I need one more. Or do I have it? I feel like I grabbed it at some point. Oh, that might have been... That might have been before I died. Okay. Oh wait, no, it was at the top of the, the snowman. Right, I remember. I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. The last one. Dude, where are Banjo's legs? I'm flying in. Yo, what up? Present. Let's go. Hey! Okay, now I think I should fly to Mumbo. You got it. What? There's a Jinjo in here? Oh, I'm a washing machine. What? Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. This is sick. I can't wear the boots. Oh shit, here I go. Oh, oh maybe I can go and race now. I'm being attacked. Yo, what up? I'm here to race. Wait, 
All right. Oh shit, I'm going. Wahey! This guy's cheating. He's pushing me out of the way. close. Don't. <laughs> that was sick. What a save. Let's go. Yo, what up? Wow, that's just mean. But what if I go in here? Secret? Oh, there. It's a very nice cave. Very nice and, uh, and roomy. expected. It's fire. Obviously, it's going to hurt. Is there anything else I can do as a, a funny walrus? Let me just look around. I'm still not back because making grilled cheese, sorry, the need got too great. But look at me, I'm a walrus. <laughs> look at me go. Walrus moment. Oh god, if I stand still, I'm going to die. Walrus... Empties? What? Hmm. 
Look at me go. I'm kind of just walrusing. Uh oh. Just kidding. Walruses can't take fall damage. It, it's cannon. Hello, I would like to be Banjo again. Thank you, Mumbo. Can I get up on Mumbo's chair? Oh, I can get up on here. Okay. Where am I going now? Oh. Can I shoot this guy? Oh. Deaded. Where do I go now? Because I did the presents. I erased. I erased Boggy. this guy. <laughs> Jesus Lord. <laughs> this guy's scary. Trying to figure out a way to defeat this man. <laughs> he got so scared. Is it even possible to defeat these snowmen right now? This 
not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to shoot eggs. What happened to the ground over there? Can I make that happen again? Oh, what? Whoa, the like, the ramp over there like changes texture if you're a certain distance away. That's cool. Knock, knock. I think it's kind of crazy how an N64 game can do that. Cause like you would normally see that with like games that get released today. God, this guy has unbelievable aiming. I don't know how to beat him. I know how to beat him. I will use my <laughs> my beak bomber, which is what I learned from bottles. Sky, do you know if TF2 idle servers work anymore? I've just it's just come across my mind out of nowhere. I feel like I remember hearing that they don't work anymore, like they fixed the thing with idling. But also if it does still work, I might consider doing that soon because I'm realizing that I don't have a lot of items in TF2 and I would like to have more, but I also don't want to buy items or craft them. I can't say for sure because I haven't tried. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, you can destroy yourself doing that. I feel like I heard that they did change how the idling works. And like, it won't give you items as fast as it did before. But I still don't know for sure. Oh my god. These enemies are insane. I don't know how to beat them. I feel like it has to be the the dive bomb. Like that just feels like what would work. I'm getting teamed on. Dive bomb. Oh shit. <laughs> it works. I can defeat the evil. Oh. 
What? New item. Okay. Look at this guy. Do you know what this looks like? This looks like one of the cogs from Toontown. This looks like... God, what is it? The Mingler. This looks like the Mingler. Hold on, I'm pulling up a picture of the, the Toontown cog right now. That's Jesus. Holy shit. Look at this. Uncanny. This is the alter ego. <laughs> I'm going to make this really small. Put it in the corner. Nice. Looks like one of the one of those people on TO2 that do that pose glitch with Scout. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. I always wonder how people even do that. Oh yeah, Sky, did you hear that there there's a project for remaking Team Fortress 2? Like, all of the gameplay and stuff for Team Fortress 2 in Source 2. Oh. And it's apparently being made in some... In, like, a Gary's Mod successor called Sandbox. Yeah. And I was, I was watching it. I was like, what? This is so sick. Because I think with Source 2... You can get like way better lighting. I think. Well, I don't know if better is the right term, but you can get a different lighting style. Yeah, I can send it to you. I can send you the link to what I saw. Bang. That's literally the sound from Toontown when you can't log in. Hold on, is that the sound? Give me a second. No, never mind. It's not it. Never mind. I love sounds game. Yeah, this game has every sound. Honestly, this also, the songs in this game also sound like, or at least Toontown songs, have a very similar style to Banjo Kazooie songs. I don't know if they just use really similar instrument sets, but they sound very similar. That's it. Bitch, I'm coming for you! Ah, fuck. What? Like, this... God, what is it called? It's, um, it's the snow area in Toontown. I forget. What is it called? 
Oh, the Berg. This sounds like the Berg. B R R G H. I'm playing the Berg right now. Give me a second. I was completely wrong. <laughs> it does not sound like the Berg. But like, hold on. The instrumentation is still really similar though. Like Toontown, quiet down. Toontown has like very similar instruments. It takes place in Toontown. Nice. Oh, yes, I love Cocktastrophe. I fucking love this music. This is so sick. I like to think that whenever you play music and pause the game, it's the Ecom Bokum Skull emitting the music. I kind of want to get back into Toontown. Yeah, Toontown still exists. The the um Toontown rewritten is still around, and I can go back to playing it, but I have such annoying tune tests on my account, like on my main profile or my main tune, and it has been an absolute bastard to get through it, because I have. Oh, it's so annoying. I have to like get through 24 level, like level four plus cog buildings to advance in the tune storyline. And I think I'm only like at five. And I think I've been playing on that tune for since 2013 or 2014, probably 2014 actually. So I've had that tune for almost eight years now and I still haven't I think that is when I decided I am I'm done playing Toontown for a while because just trying to get that task done was actually going to like make me go insane I do want to get back into Toontown though I think that would be a lot of fun I've been considering maybe Sky, I don't know if you were... What the hell? I don't know if you were around for the 12-hour Toontown stream days. But... Were you? No. No, this was before we met. Um... I do want to... <laughs> I do want to, at some point, do a 12-hour Toontown stream. Maybe that'll be when I get partner on Twitch. Yeah, you don't remember one because it didn't happen. <laughs> I like, I tried to do one when I reached 100 subscribers on my old channel. And uh, I think I got through it. I think I got through two hours of it before I realized I wasn't having fun. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have died. Yeah, I think it'll be... Like, just being honest, I think it'll be a long time before I even get partner. Which, I think is fine. I'm okay with not getting partner for a while. Maybe one day I'll, I'll get partner. But it's not like a... It's not like a goal, it's something... I, th I see it more as something that could happen, you know? Not as something I'm really aiming for. Like, I'm not pushing for partner or anything. It wasn't, like, nearly as much as when... Uh... Not really, honestly. Like, I kind of like the idea of my stream just kind of growing naturally, like, just from people finding the stream 
and like considering to stay because like personally growth is not a big thing for me i might have mentioned it before but like i don't really mind how much the stream grows by i'm just trying to have fun you know Like, if I ever had some video that ended up going, that ended up growing super popular and, and like, got me a bunch of people watching the stream, then, like, yeah, that'd be cool. But that's not something I'm really aiming for. And I think... <laughs> God. I think it's something... I feel like I've mentioned this before, and I feel like a broken record, but I don't know. I think that's something that a lot of new streamers kind of forget is the having fun aspect. And that's kind of like really, that's like unfortunate to see because usually what it means is people will put in what they feel like is a ton of effort towards the stream, you know, getting the, what they consider the best looking layout and the best commands or whatever and all this kinds of stuff but what ends up happening is they end up just not having fun while doing it and they're kind of making it a job when it doesn't need to be like you will if you get popular enough you will get to the point where streaming will be a job but when you're starting that's a really I wouldn't say it's the wrong mindset. Like, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing to treat something as something you're passionate towards. Because, obviously, you can you can be super passionate towards something like streaming. Like, that's a good thing to do. I am missing so much. But, like, people will... I think what ends up happening is people feel like they're not getting the viewership that they expect when they have when they put so much effort into a layout and you know making i don't know a discord server and things like that and putting in all this effort that ultimately might not end up leading to as much as they expect and when that ends up happening they usually get pretty discouraged and it's like oh I guess this isn't for me. When it absolutely could have been. You could have been taking a different approach, which, again, is not the necessarily the right approach because there is no right approach. It's streaming is such a unique, like, area of, you know, I, I guess content creation or something like that. It's so unique and different that there's no real right way to do it. Like, like say you're a, a manager of a company. There's usually a right way to be a manager of a company. There's no real right way to be a streamer, though. Streaming is, is such a unique... It's such a place built on, you know, like, individual personality. And... You know, your stream is based off of you. I don't know where I'm trying to go with this. I'm, I'm like just kind of rambling. But basically my point is people don't really do what they enjoy. They try and do what will get them the most, you know, like views or what will get them what will get people watching more than what they actually like doing which is really unfortunate to see and you know these people will listen to i've seen them on like my tiktok feed which is a very you know a very big platform it's where a lot of people can post and the algorithm is really good at recommending things to you so small streamers will see other things made by small streamers and 
It'll be like five tips to grow your stream. Do this, this, and this. There's no other way. And it's like, no, that's not right. Well, it's not even that it's not right. It's just that there is no set way to grow a stream. That's just... I didn't even think that was a thing. There is no set way to grow a stream. It just... You can't make a, a quote-unquote formula to grow a stream. That just doesn't exist. It's like trying to prove something that doesn't exist when there's no way to prove it. If that makes sense. Or it's like trying to predict a dice roll. There's like, yeah, you can use math to predict a dice roll, but there's no way to actually know because it's random. It's completely out of your hand. So why even worry about that and just kind of go with it? Like whether or not your stream grows, your viewership grows, is completely up to luck. And I think instead of trying to fight that, you should just kind of embrace the fact that it is luck. You can go your entire time streaming and not get above like five average viewers. You could suddenly grow and then you're the biggest streamer on Twitch all of, all of a sudden. And either are basically completely likely to happen in their own way. Because that's the kind of platform Twitch is. Viewers can kind of just come out of nowhere. So instead of trying to push for trying to get viewers and trying to get, you know, people watching your stream, you should my my suggestion is, you know, stream what you enjoy. You know, I feel like all of this is stuff that I have mentioned before, but like it's some weird subconscious thing, I think. I don't really know what it is, but it's some subconscious thing in like the human mind that if someone that we're watching or someone we're close to is enjoying something, then we kind of have that same instinct to also enjoy it. So like if I'm playing like right now, I feel like I'm enjoying banjo i'm having a lot of fun with it i think it's a really a really fun experience so my hope is that that enjoyment also comes through the stream which i would imagine it usually does because that is kind of a a thing that people just have as an instinct if someone's having fun then if someone you're watching is having fun then you're probably also going to have fun at least that's what I'm... That's what I understand. Yeah. And, like, it's also a weird subconscious thing where you can also kind of tell that someone isn't having fun. And watching someone not have fun most of the time is not an enjoyable experience. Like, you don't want to watch... You don't want to watch someone not have fun playing something. That just... What? Was that an, oh, why is there an ice key here? Wait, wasn't this one of the rumors or something for Banjo-Kazooie? People were like trying to figure out what this ice key is. And it was some like cut content or something. Oh yeah, stop and swap. That's what it was. Okay. But yeah, like... It's not a great experience watching someone not have fun while playing something. So... As a streamer, one of the best things you can do to... Not guarantee, because it's never a guarantee, to kind of... Put it more in favor of yourself getting more people to want to watch your stream is by having fun you know and the only way you can do that is to play things that you know you'll enjoy or you think you'll enjoy you know what if your favorite game was i don't know minesweeper 
What if you really just enjoyed playing Minesweeper? Then you stream Minesweeper. I, I think... I always think I have a good idea of when someone is or isn't having fun. But when I ask if they're having fun or not, they're usually totally having fun after all. Yeah, I think... That is kind of a big thing that... I think it's a thing people do where... Usually people will kind of say... They'll usually just say, yeah, I'm having fun. In response to someone asking. Because, you know, they don't... They don't want it to seem like they're... Not having fun, you know? Because I think that person probably also realizes... If I say I'm not having fun, then maybe that's not a good thing. But then... Then I guess if someone isn't having fun... Then... Why would they be streaming it? Like, if I wasn't having fun playing Banjo, I probably... Want to do more than a stream of it, honestly. But I am genuinely having a lot of fun with this game. I think it's really good. Where was that last Jinjo? I... get this extra life. But yeah, that's definitely a valid feeling to have, Sky. Like, feeling like you want to see if someone is having fun, but then it's kind of worried. Like, you get kind of worried about them not really saying whether or not they're actually having fun. Yeah. This is this has been something I've been thinking of for a while now. Like probably a couple years, I would I would say. Because I've kind of just come to terms with the fact that so many people that have had giant growths on Twitch, you know, big streamers, they also started out at like an average of a couple of viewers every every stream for probably a year or two or three or four. And they were probably in a similar place like me. And they were probably like, well, I think I'll just enjoy or I'll stream what I enjoy. And maybe by some stroke of luck, something will happen. And usually that is what, en what ends up happening. And you can't really chalk it up to anything other than you got lucky, you know? And it's not like it's a bad thing. Because obviously you, you were able to get to the point where you are now, where you're really successful and you have... A lot of people watching and enjoying the stuff that you're doing. How did I do that? <laughs> that was cool. And I think what people that what people do that are starting on Twitch is they'll see people with huge amounts of viewership and seeing what they do and thinking, well, if I can do that then maybe I can I can get that and then they don't get it because I don't know something happens with luck because that's how it is on Twitch at any streaming platform and they end up just doubting themselves like oh I was doing this though 
why didn't why didn't this happen and they don't understand why they're not getting viewership which is a completely okay thing to think because there's no way to explain it really this was my bronto ramble Yeah, that was just kind of something I've always been thinking of for a while. You know, I think it's probably like the best mindset I can really have towards streaming or content creation in general is to just not really expect anything to happen and just kind of let things happen on its own. There's no real way to influence it, and the best you can do is just do what you like. Jiggy. What other Jiggies could I be missing? Oh wait, what if I go to the house after I gave the presents? Maybe the maybe the dad is back and he can he can give me a another Jiggy for <laughs> fixing his family. <laughs> Big genius moment. Two hours. I feel like we made a lot of good progress in two hours. I don't know where else these other two Jiggies could be, but we have made some good progress. We finished Bubble Gloop Swamp. We basically finished Freeze Easy Peak. I froze Easy Peak. I did. So yeah, I think I'm gonna hop out now. I think that was a lot of good progress. I like doing the... I like doing two levels per... per stream. The Jiggy animation on the pause screen is 60 FPS. That's awesome. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, oh my god, I got choked up. <coughs> I'm dying. Yes, I do want to... <laughs> I'm okay. Yes, I do. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> I would love to team fort. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Ow. <laughs> This is me right now. Check not not what's on screen. This is me right now. <coughs> Ow. Grunty is lady. <laughs> I love the pound D mode. <coughs> Ow. Okay, I think I'm gonna go before I keep dying. Uh I think well. <coughs> yeah, it plays the whole cutscene. Well, I can skip through the cutscene, actually. Like, I can skip through this, too. I think I skipped through it last time. I do want to live. 
um, Thursday, I'm going to stream some more Banjo. I have a feeling I might be finishing it this week. <coughs> I need to go before I die. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to stream that on Thursday. So <laughs> I'm going to go now. All right. See ya. <coughs> uh, see ya at the, te the team forts guy. Goodbye.